Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Matthew 25 verse 40 And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Proverbs 3 verses 3 to 4 Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. 1 John 4 verses 7 to 8 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Proverbs 22 verse 28 Do not move the ancient landmark that your fathers have set. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Romans 15 verse 1 We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Proverbs 15 verse 28 The heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Colossians 4 verse 6 let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Proverbs 24 verse 26 Whoever gives an honest answer kisses the lips. 1 Timothy 3 verse 8 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. Proverbs 10 verse 20 The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, the heart of the wicked is of little worth. 2 Corinthians 8 verses 20 to 21 We take this course so that no one should blame us about this generous gift that is being administered by us. For we aim at what is honorable not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of man. Psalm 34 verse 13 Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Titus 1 verses 7 to 8 For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Proverbs 15 verse 2 The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouths of fools pour out folly. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 there are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Ephesians 4 verse 31 
Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Proverbs 17 verse 4 An evildoer listens to wicked lips, and a liar gives ear to a mischievous tongue. James 3 verse 14 But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. Proverbs 26 verse 28 A lying tongue hates its victims, and a flattering mouth works ruin. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3 But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived you by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. Proverbs 12 verse 19 Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. 1 Timothy 6 verse 5 And constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Proverbs 26 verses 23 to 28 like the glaze covering an earthen vessel are fervent lips with an evil heart. Whoever hates disguises himself with his lips and harbors deceit in his heart. When he speaks graciously, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred be covered with deception, his wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back on him who starts it rolling. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 8 I say this not as a command, but to prove by the earnestness of others that your love also is genuine. Proverbs 20 verse 15 There is gold and abundance of costly stones, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. James 5 verse 12 But above all, my brothers, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. Proverbs 28 verse 23 Whoever rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. Matthew 15 verse 11 It is not what goes into the mouth that defile a person, but what comes out of the mouth. This defiles a person. Proverbs 4 verse 24 Put away from you crooked speech, and put devious talk far from you. Titus 2 verse 10 Not pilfering, but showing all good faith so that in everything they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior. Proverbs 28 verse 18 Whoever walks in integrity will be delivered, but he who is crooked in his ways will suddenly fall. Titus 2 verse 3 Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. Proverbs 12 verse 22 Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. Titus 1 verse 16 They profess to know God, but they deny him by their works. They are detestable, disobedient, unfit for any good work. Proverbs 15 verse 7 The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the hearts of fools. 1 Peter 1 verse 22 Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Proverbs 11 verse 11 By the blessing of the upright a city is exalted, but by the mouth of the wicked it is overthrown. James 1 verse 19 Know this, my beloved brothers, 
Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 21 verse 6 The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Proverbs 17 verse 20 A man of crooked heart does not discover good, and one with a dishonest tongue falls into calamity. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 but in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. Proverbs 16 verse 10 An oracle is on the lips of a king, his mouth does not sin in judgment. Proverbs 16 verse 21 the wise of heart is called discerning, and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. 1 John 2 verse 4 Whoever says I know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Proverbs 21 verse 28 A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. Proverbs 22 verse 12 The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the traitor. Proverbs 19 verse 22 What is desired in a man is steadfast love, and a poor man is better than a liar. Romans 2 verse 4 Or do you presume on the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? Psalm 145 verse 9 The Lord is good to all, and his mercy is over all that he has made. Proverbs 15 verse 1 A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Matthew 5 verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Proverbs 21 verse 13 Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. Romans 13 verse 10 Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Proverbs 22 verses 22 to 23 do not rob the poor, because he is poor, or crush the afflicted at the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and rob of life those who rob them. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 3 If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Proverbs 28 verse 8 Whoever multiplies his wealth by interest and profit gathers it for him who is generous to the poor. James 2 verse 13 For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9 Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Luke 10 verse 27 And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, 
and your neighbor as yourself. Proverbs 31 verse 20 She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. Matthew 25 verse 35 For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. Proverbs 14 verse 21 Whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you, have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Proverbs 22 verse 9 Whoever has a bountiful I will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Isaiah 1 verse 17 Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Let all that you do be done in love. Proverbs 25 verses 21 to 22 If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink, for you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Proverbs 31 verse 26 She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. 1 Peter 4 verse 8 Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Luke 6 verse 31 And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Galatians 5 verse 13 For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. Romans 12 verse 21 do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Proverbs 20 verse 28 Steadfast love and faithfulness preserve the king, and by steadfast love his throne is upheld. Galatians 6 verse 10 So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone and especially to those who are of the household of faith. 1 John 4 verse 11 Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Luke 6 verse 38 Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use it will be measured back to you. Proverbs 11 verse 25 Whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. 1 Timothy 6 verse 18 They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share. Hebrews 13 verse 16 do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. 1 John 3 verse 18 Little children, let us not love in word or talk but in deed and in truth. 
Luke 10 verses 33 to 34. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Romans 12 verse 10. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Isaiah 58 verse 10. If you pour yourself out for the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness, and your gloom be as the noonday. 1 John 3 verse 17. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Romans 12 verse 20. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Proverbs 25 verse 21. If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you.